What's up everybody, it's Charles. So a little while back I did a video on replacing this valve cover on a BPY engine, that's the FSI Volkswagen engine, and I mentioned that it has PCV valving inside of the valve cover assembly. And that actually introduces something that could potentially be a problem with failure of the valving or ducting inside of the valve cover itself. As we turn the valve cover over, we can actually see that there's a plastic cover covering up all those pathways for air to flow through. So today I thought it'd be interesting to show you guys kind of what that looks like, as well as test out our smoke machine which I actually think is probably the fastest way to diagnose something going on inside of this valve cover assembly. Now, taking it off really isn't that hard, but you might not always see a very hairline crack in this plastic, at least not very easily. So here we have our Redline Ready Smoke smoke machine, our amber light that's used to detect the smoke, and of course our fitting so that we can pump some smoke through it. Now this sits in the car like this. This is the front side. These are gonna be the two hoses at the back. There is a valve that mounts to here. Unfortunately, I don't have that. So I'm gonna show you guys how I would smoke test it without this valve on it. We'll start this way. This is the portion that faces the front of the vehicle still. We'll turn on our smoke machine. We'll turn our smoke on. Now you can actually see it coming out right here. Now. This is just to show you guys where it's coming out. If I cap this off, you can actually see it's not leaking. So if there were a hairline crack inside this pathway, when we plug it up, it would show a leak. In addition to just looking for smoke, we can actually use the dials on our smoke machine to determine how big of a leak we have. Right now I have it turned off. If I were to take my finger and cover up the fitting on the smoke machine and turn it on, you can actually see that there's a little ball right down here at the bottom. Also, our pressure gauge shows we're right in the optimum spot right here for pressure. When the ball is down at the bottom, it's showing you you have no leak. If I were to take my finger and just ease off of it, I'm manufacturing a vacuum leak that's about a quarter of a millimeter, half millimeter, and then when I take my finger off, it goes full bore and just pumps when I cover it up, that little ball drops all the way down to the bottom. So if you can't see the smoke coming out, you can also use the dial on the front of the machine in order to determine whether you have a leak or not. Next, what I wanna do is I'm gonna create a leak in the pathway from this fitting to this fitting. Go ahead and cap that off. I might still need to hold it. And we'll go ahead and drill a hole in that pathway to create a leak. Now you can see smoke just billowing out of that hole that I drilled. We can also see that our ball goes all the way up to the top because it's created a giant vacuum leak. And our pressure never goes up either. So that's just one way to test to see if the valve cover is actually bad. Let's try and take this plastic portion off, this cover portion off, and see what it looks like inside. I think understanding the air pathways of the valve cover will help us understand the, how it works and how the PCV system functions with the valve cover unit. Now that we have this under piece off, we can start to see where the pathways of the PCV lead. So here's our front, the PCV valve bolts to, the, to this side of the valve cover. Underneath, we can see we have a pathway from this fitting to this large hose that goes to the turbocharger. This had a hose attached to it that actually was under campaign for a while, basically like a recall. So this goes down this way. Our square kind of goes into this open space here. This small square doesn't actually go anywhere. It just terminates right there. And then this circle right here, this actually goes into this other open space. This is how this sat. This was actually open so it could gather vapors up that way. You can also see how much nasty carbon buildup was inside of here. So no surprise that this kind of wears out and weakens the plastic over time. So really, if you had a crack in this section over here, you're probably not gonna have any kind of drivability problems. Now, that may or may not be the case. It could still disrupt the flow of air through that little opening over here, but probably not. Even a crack in this point, because these sections actually do connect, probably wouldn't have too much issue unless the piece was completely missing. 
Now from here to here or here down here up to this fitting, the one that we tested with the smoke machine, if those were open or cross contaminated or these two were cross contaminated, then you very likely could have excessive oil consumption, check engine lights, system lean, you could probably convince me that maybe even a system rich or some sort of air fuel fault could occur based on some kind of cross contamination, either here to here or these covers that we removed being cracked or broken. When you take the PCV system of the FSI engine as a whole, the valve, the other valve that connects here and the hoses, it's actually a pretty problematic system that had a lot of issues. Valve cover itself failing is probably the least common issue because it was never under campaign or recall or anything, but it very easily could wreak havoc on trying to diagnose a car and you're not thinking, hey, I got a bad valve cover for a system lean fault, even though we see clearly that that could be the case.